Hey, man, just wanted to come on here and quickly say a couple things. First, uh, I want to thank y'all who supported us last week. It means everything to us, and we hope y'all stick around for every step of the way. Second, if you're a returning listener, special thanks and a shout-out to y'all, man. Like That means everything. If you are a returning listener, please make sure to do us a favor and subscribe and follow if you aren't already. It goes a long way, and it helps out a tremendous amount. Lastly, uh, I want y'all to interact with us, man. I want y'all to get down in the comments and kind of, like, give us your input on the topics that we talked about. Like, for today's topics, we talk about the World Cup. Let us know. Who do y'all think is going to win the World Cup, or who do you want to win the World Cup? Another topic, we talked about school lunches. What was y'all favorite item? What was... What do you think was the best item or what was the worst item? So get down in the comments, man. Like, let us know. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow, rate, review, all of that good stuff. Catch y'all on the next one. How we feel about the World Cup being during the holidays? It's weird. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna definitely be weird. But it makes sense because the heat in Qatar... Oh, yeah. That should be hitting like 120. Yeah. Oh, say you swear. That's, 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 why, right there. Yeah, that's, true. that's why they fucking... I mean, I think overall they just fucked up by having the World Cup in Qatar to begin with. Just yeah. A, a lot of uh, negative connotations everywhere. Yeah. With, like... Hey, bro. I don't know if that's just true, but I've been hearing about the stadiums that motherfuckers is dying building the stadiums. I, I, I don't what know stadiums? about that. The, the, the cause, World Cup cause stadiums? It, yeah, whenever there's a World Cup in like a new country, they build the stadiums. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't know. If, I, I read this shit like a minute ago, but I heard that motherfuckers is dying building the stadiums. Well, that's crazy. And I wouldn't I, doubt it, but hey, I, I don't know of any <clears throat> truth or or lies to it. Yeah, um, that's on some uh, Wall of China type shit. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers died in that shit, and they buried them in the Wall of China. Yeah, they're gonna do that in the stadiums. It's crazy. That shit's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if that shit's true though. I, I really don't know. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past them. The uh, Qatar is a little. It's just third it world, no? To, yeah, it is third world, I think. They're a little weird when it comes to the money situation and the soccer situation. Uh, I can't speak anything else outside of that. Yeah. But um, it, it, I just think they fucked up by having it there to begin with. I do know I'm not going to like it because i am be working Black Friday type shit. And then the fucking World Cup game going to be on in the middle of it. I probably not on Black Friday, but. Yeah. I mean, that like, is going to be crazy. The it's going to be weird. It's with- going to be I mean, Restaurants I wonder. Restaurants are gonna be full. Stores are gonna be full. I wonder if it's gonna be lit. That's all I care about. Like, I mean, it's gonna feel weird at first, but I wonder if it's gonna hit different. I think getting past the group stage is gonna have a little bit of a. Um, I wouldn't say like like super hype, but mm-hmm. it, it's definitely gonna have a little bit more hype to it than kind of just looking at it, the overall um, preview at it right now. Yeah. Because, you know, once you kind of get into the group stage, you get a couple games to get used to the environment, the times, and this and that. Where kind of like when you're starting now, you're just kind of like, oh, now you're trying to get on the schedule of something completely different to what we're used to. Yeah. Uh, so I think once you get past like round 16 forward, then you kind of get like a better idea of like what times the games are going to be at, what days they're going to be played at. And yeah, obviously, yeah. the teams that advance past the group are going to be a lot more uh, refined than some of the ones going into the entire World Cup. I wonder what the times are going to be, no? Because that shit, like, they're hella hours ahead of us, no? I, I don't know exactly the time, but I would assume just based on uh, European games that we watch here in the U.S., yeah. I, I'm assuming it's going to be after 12. Yeah. Two, three. After yeah. twelve, like noon, or uh, after twelve our time. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly the regions of the world um, yeah. to how the, uh, Qatar is going to compare to like Spain, for example. Mm-hmm. But like Spain games go on. I think. I think it's their morning. I honestly don't remember, but I know yeah. over here it's usually anywhere between six and seven a.m. to like two, three p.m. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would assume it's going to be around the same same time frame, probably like noonish. Yeah. Uh, for once you get past the round 16, maybe. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be a little weird for sure. It's going to be weird as fuck. I'm just hoping they're cracking, bro. It's the best soccer players in the world coming for this. Because like, last World Cup was like not that memorable, in my opinion. Hey, bro, how many years was it? The... Not up and all. That shit oh, was 2014, man. no? Yeah. So 2014. that was like eight years ago? Yeah, yeah that was, was two. That ago. was a World Cup ago. That World Cup, like, so that's that had so many shit go down, so many memories. But like Literally. this last one, I don't really remember shit. No. Wait, wasn't that the World Cup where Chile whooped uh, Mexico? Or was no? Nah, that was World Copa no, America. That was, uh, Copa America. Oh, okay, okay, they okay. whooped the ass. Seven one, bro, like something like that. Six it was one, yeah, it six was like one? six one. Bro, I was in Mexico when that was happening. I was I was at work with my parents while we were watching wild. the game. 
My sister and my brother-in-law were there. At the, oh, game? At the game? Yeah, because it was in Santa Clara. I was yeah, they looked like clowns. I was like, Carlos, <laughs> since I was drinking. <laughs> oh, Carlos, yeah. don't yeah. yeah. Yeah, nah, that game was crazy. Oh, yeah, man. I, it was... It was really hard, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, we had just seen fucking Brazil get smacked by Germany Fuck. in their home te- or home um, stadium. And yeah. it just kind of just fucking getting wrecked 7 to 1. That shit was. And just kind of making fun of it, all the memes up to that. And then you get fucking Chile whooping on Mexico 6 to 1. It's like, come on, dog. Back to back embarrassments, bro. We were a laughing stock, bro. <laughs> Man. We still are. I don't think we've we, recovered. Yeah, we still are. I don't think we've recovered. <laughs> yeah, we still got the same coach. No, no, so from that time, way. I think it was Piojo, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> no, I'm talking about like uh, as recent years. Oh, no. currently we have mm. Tata Martino, which is mm. levels on its own. I mean, I I've, I was not hoping he would keep the job going into the World Cup, but it yeah. looks like we're going to be stuck with him. But uh, They got a group stage with England. I don't know. Mexico? Remember the yeah. Group Mexico stage. has uh, No, 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 Argentina. that's USA. That's yeah, USA. Mexico has Argentina, Argentina Saudi Arabia, and Poland. And Poland yes. Yeah. So hopefully Mexico I, and Argentina make it out. I, I, yeah, I'm yeah, predicting. I think we're that out. I'm predicting a second place for Mexico there. For sure. Yeah. Argentina hopefully. is still unbeaten, no? Uh, they still got that streak going. They got a little bit of streak. I don't know how many games exactly, but yeah, they they got a little bit of a streak under Scaloni or whatever his name is. Yeah. He's really bossing it with Argentina right now. I just hope this World Cup brings a lot of. A lot of heat. I think we're going to see a lot of bangers, if we're being honest. Let's hope so, bro. I feel I, like there is a lot of people in the league right now that are scoring you, bangers. You know what I low-key feel like? Because if, if this World Cup flops, I feel like it's because Italy's not there. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, literally, like, the last World Cup, Italy wasn't there, and that shit flopped. But, like, every other World Cup since then, they've had, they've been in and they've all been lit. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, 2010, bro. I mean, that's like... As far as our times go, that's m- the most memorable World Cup you can get to, all the way from the, the intro song, the wave the banner or the wave the flag, and then that's the Waka one Waka. in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that all, shit was crazy. All, like, all that hype alone, outside of the ninety minutes on the pitch, bro, was yeah. stupid hype. And then you got like these crazy K colors. You got these crazy players in their prime. Low key, uh, the yeah. best uh, World Cup anthem for sure, hands down. It's just like. All, all the way through, Hands bro, down. you got the young, promising players coming up to the La Selección for whatever nation they play on. You got the uh, veteran players who got one more World Cup after this one, but mm-hmm. they want to make the mark on this type of hype. And then you got just like the overall like nostalgia feeling of like all these players on their last World Cup. Was it that World Cup or the one before? Was it then headbutted somebody? I think it was the one before. Yeah, that yeah, shit was hella that, funny. I think that was... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but Asia. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I honestly don't remember any where any other World Cup took place before Africa. I think 2006 was. I don't an remember Asia. any of the World Cups. Not even the fucking Brazil one, bro. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh yeah, no. Once you get to the Jabulani, the Bazooka, like those, those two World nah. Cups. Yeah. Well, I remember when they had the Bazooka. Book. Yeah, it's 2014. Yeah, that was 2014. That was Brazil, yeah, 2014 to me is the most memorable one. Yeah, probably to me too, because that's the only ball. Because because I, I really wasn't like. Before that, I was on my straight nerd shit. I was video gaming all the time. Oh, yeah, but then, really. like, once 2014 hit, like, World Cup... World, that World Cup literally brought me back to soccer. Like, yeah, yeah, that's when yeah. I started following Barca even more. And that following that year, that's when we won that treble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, 2010, I, I was big on soccer, man. Like, I mean, you know, I barely played video games. At, yeah, at, yeah, like, yeah. At that age, but... You know, just fucking soccer, like 90 minutes, being able to watch the game. I mean, like, that was out. literally the year after we played for Toluca. We yeah, played in 09. Yeah. And then I, j- I had just come off of buying a La-, La Pulga Mexico black jersey. You was born in 06? No, I was six when it oh, was. Oh, I was nine. Shit. I was six what year was you born? 03. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just, bro, I was telling my mom the other day, I just, it's, it's about to be a year next year that I graduated, mm-hmm. and it feels like it's already been like three years that I graduated, yeah. to be honest, bro. That shit flies, bro. It literally does. That shit it flies. Does. Get your life together. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so nah, get our life. You don't even have to, your life together. Get that's our what life. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's yeah, advice from the future, bro. <laughs> we're here to tell you. <laughs> we're here to tell you, bro. Get it together. <laughs> nah, nah, but yeah, I just come in 2010, bro. Like, I just remember after school program being like, uh, if we're here, like, right next yeah. To the cafeteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had just pulled out my uh, my Mexico black jersey I got from La Puga that weekend. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! Just that a black Mexico jersey with the gold tin with like oh, bro, kits was fire. Beautiful man. 
Sure. And then just like just the hype, bro. Like at that time, I was watching soccer, but not like watching soccer every week, like week in, week yeah. out type deal. After you go to the twenty fourteen, um, you know, now at that age, we have a little bit more access to other uh, like interests because before it was ninety minutes on the pitch. That's what yeah. we're watching. Uh, now you kind of see oh transfer rumors. Now you see negotiation yeah. stuff, coach changing. You know coaches. You know stuff. people in the exactly. uh, like the higher places in yeah, the clubs so and I, all that I, shit. I think twenty fourteen uh, for sure kind of changed my uh, enjoying ninety minutes of football to uh, enjoy the behind the scenes yeah, of what's yeah. going on. So now now it's not just full time blows. Now there's nothing to watch. No, now it's full time blows. You got the post interview. You got the coaches intake. You got them. Uh, you got what's even going more on. games to watch. You too. got the injuries that happen on days off type oh, deal. Yeah. So now you don't have to like kind of see it a week in. You're like, oh, where did that player go? Wasn't he just playing last week? He got injured, trained, blah blah, whatever it is. Yeah. So now it's like 2014 forward. That's just kind of where I'm looking at like, the transfers, all these negotiation rumors. Yeah. And it just kind of like, so oh, this player's out the door, like. Let me start looking at what players are going to be linked up with the. You with good? The, uh, <laughs> let me take a look at what players are going to be linked with my club type yeah. deal. So now it's like, oh, rumors that Rafinha from Leeds is going to play. Oh, let me turn on the Leeds game real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now you see like a couple different Brazilian talents, this and that. And now you're looking at what's a World Cup going to look like. And even deal. even like discovering the new the new the new youngsters oh yeah no i mean that's a big wave right then now, that's man. when you like imagine how it was for like the people who was following messi when he was growing up yep. the ronaldo's like all that shit that's what we're basically doing but, with yeah. all these new players as tacky as it sounds bro that that messi situation i i genuinely think i started watching football more on the barcelona side of it probably it was that same season he made his debut coming off for a, or coming on for Deco. Yeah, Deco. Yeah. Um, that that whole. I mean, I had already been watching Barcelona a couple of seasons prior, but I never like fully like dedicated like, oh, this is my team type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for sure, after everything that's happened, but I probably started watching them a couple uh, months after Messi made his debut, mm -hmm. and it just felt crazy watching that whole. Thing just transpired. You got the Ronaldinho leaving. You got yeah. Rafa yeah. Marquez. I mean, fuck, Mexican legend playing for the club. Fuck, captain. Marquez was this crazy. And that, bro, crazy. And he's not, he wasn't just a Mexican that passed by the club. He literally left his mark on the club. Yeah. He wasn't like the Dos Santos. I mean, they yeah, played there. Yeah. Giovanni left pretty much immediately. Jonathan. I never even knew bit. Giovanni played there. Yeah, he had a, a little bit. I think, I don't remember if it was before Spurs or after Spurs. <laughs> what? That thing, bro. Check your, check your messages. That's why I was laughing, though. Wasn't there a rumor that Messi, this was going to be Messi's last World Cup or something like that? Yeah, I think <laughs> if we're looking at it um, kind of just on the general, uh, just on the general. How old is dude? Uh, I think. It's like 38, he, no? He or has something? to be in his 30s. I mean, 38 is crazy. Bro, no, I, I don't think he's 38. Is I think he... Ronaldo's 37, bro. And, and Messi's like two years two younger. Two years younger. Than him, yeah. So then he's like 35. 35 ish, I think. Still, though, that's fucking old, though. No, yeah. I mean, to be playing, bro. Like, at no, the, yeah, le Messi's at the 34, level they've 34. been playing. Oh, yeah. At the level they've been playing at, I mean, I wouldn't doubt this is their last World Cup, at least as starters. If they do yeah, one more yeah, World yeah. Cup, it'll probably be as like an extra name on the team sheet type thing. Ronaldo's oh, yeah, 37, yeah, yeah. three yeah. years younger. That, that makes sense. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Can we get off the soccer topic? Because I don't have shit to say about the soccer topic. <laughs> you never played for a team before? I have when I was younger, but for real? uh yeah, I played in Liga Latina though, bro. Where's that is that just like in at Metal local? Homes? You don't you guys don't remember Liga Latina? Uh, no, I really don't. We yeah. only played locally in our shit. Yeah, that's that's what I did. It was like a like a conquer league. It was the Liga Latina. It had like a bunch of little teams and stuff. I played, I was I would play um keep and defense. You played keep? Yeah, I played keep and oh, defense, shit. but I sucked at keep, bro. Was I it, was a little kid. Yeah, was it like a like a actual team or one of you, like a, a custom team? What do you mean? Because you know how we oh, play no, no, for no. Toluca? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was a, like a custom team, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. But so I was a goalie and stuff, but um I was a young kid, bro, and the coach would talk mad shit, bro. I hate those coaches. Like, like bro, I'm a We're little kids, ass. Bro. Exactly. I'm a little boy, bro, and you're over here talking shit about a kid that can't save a ball, bro. Like, I'm like <laughs> damn, bro. Like, Wait, bro, how, that, that made me want to stop playing soccer. I stopped playing soccer you? after that. What year was that? Oof. Oof. I don't know. I was I was, I was, was a young boy, though. a kid kid? Yeah. I was probably like... Like elementary school? Yeah, probably. Yeah, mm. for sure. 
Because we played in yeah, because that's what 09, got me. So that's what I mean. We did Broncos in 08 for sure. Yeah, Broncos. Uh, you guys started uh, early. Luca in ten. Oh um, nine and ten. Oh nine and ten. Uh, I had prior to Broncos. I don't. That's the two. Must have been like together, right? Yeah, I've only played in Broncos. I played. I think I, I feel like I transferred into Broncos like hella late. You did, yeah. I, yeah. I think you were there my second season there. And then I got signed to Toluca. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, um, prior to Broncos, I had done the uh, Chivas USA over in oh, Central real? Park. Uh, so they had like a little academy or whatever it was. Oh, it was shit. Like, uh, it wasn't a paid academy. It was like, yeah. literally like you know, like you join, you kind of get a little bit like more heritage, help. but you just. Kind of, uh, nah, actually, the, that's like there, an actual like. Yeah, over there, yeah. It could, mind you, those these is like when I was like six or something like that. Yeah, um, I was probably around the same age, probably to be honest. I remember like, at, at that time, I didn't really like playing soccer. I enjoyed yeah. like watching it, like this and that, but I didn't like going to practice. I didn't like, especially not my parents taking me to. I yeah, think yeah. as a kid, like, nobody likes it, bro. Like the running and it, stuff. It, it felt yeah. more like an obligation more than yes, yeah, well, rather than like you know you pick up a ball, you go play on the street, you go play with some friends, like you know that. Yeah, feels, I, yeah. Legit. Like I, the only reason why. I felt to going to practice was because I was with you and yeah. like everybody else like we we got to know but like that's the only reason why and also because after practice you would come over yeah. and we just watch <laughs> WWE it's the same lit. thing like with school and all that stuff no, yeah. you just go for facts. the social part of it facts that's, unless that's you like true. school unless yeah. you like school Literally, that's facts yeah. Yeah. it's the same thing with soccer unless you liked soccer then you didn't like the practice yeah. I, mean, I love soccer I just yeah. hated practice <laughs> like this, I, just, I just hated like getting ready for it and then going to it and then like you know spending like a couple like warm up sessions and then being able to do like scrimmages and stuff yeah it was like bro the just scrimmages the scrimmage. yeah the scrimmages <laughs> were the best the part scrimmages. of the practice facts cause I mean keep it a buck bro like we're young we're, we're not like, as a, as an adult facts. now like you know like that training is like what leads crucial. to it yeah, vital yeah. crucial for sure conditioning but and all that as shit as a kid yeah. I mean I get it but like I mean, like as a kid you just, you just like, want to play you just want to have fun facts man. like my mom's spending money on this, bro. Like, let me get some games. Yeah. <laughs> that shit, nah, the games was lit, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I always loved the competitiveness about it. Like, it yeah, that time lit. I was a defender. Yeah, you you played defender. I think you played maybe midfield a couple times. Uh, CDM, if anything. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. But I, most I, of you was, like, center back. Yeah. Mo- I played... I you, everything was right center back. At the I played either striker or on the wing. Yeah. I remember that shit. I remember when I scored my first goal, bro. <laughs> oh, man, that's one of the best feelings. Man, the scoring world. a goal, bro, being like, a striker, being able to do that. And doing that shit like, in front of my pops, bro, I, I, I think, I, that shit felt so good, bro. Man, bro. It's the best feeling. I think... Uh, after. No, Facts! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, the little snack breaks, bro. Like, oh, yeah. I I forgot, out, like, uh, like parents would be in charge yeah, of bringing the snacks yeah. and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit was lit. Bro, that was so lit. That shit was so fun. Uh, I, I remember, like, seeing everybody score and me being at the back. Because, I mean, yeah. we were... We were not, not to brag, but Broncos was a very uh, possession organized team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Broncos I would I would see very little of the ball in the backside of yeah, the pitch. Yeah. Uh, if I did, I, I mean I would do a tackle yeah. here and there, this and that. But as soon as I grab the ball, offload the ball, and I don't see the ball again for like another twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, that's why I didn't like keeper too, because sometimes you just facts. don't get action, bro. No, but, for Broncos, I think I was benched because because I was new. I, I was benched yeah. most of the time, and I remember I got something in one time, but I don't remember what I played. Well, I mean, our, our two coaches there were literally the parents of two of the <laughs> the players. Oh, so yeah. Okay, no, so him. one of our coaches was the the parent for the goalkeeper, <clears throat> who at the point where he injured his arm was the point that somebody came in for him, mm. and then it opened up a, a one more spot on the pitch or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then the other coach had his son, and then his daughter. And then their cousin. So then there was three, three kids already on the team just off of one coach. And then, mm. so basically we had what four four total players on there yeah. auto- automatically yeah, started. In the starting. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, once I, I my first goal, my only goal I think in Broncos was uh, a header from a corner. Um, it, it was so sick, man. It was so <laughs> sick. I had my little mohawk then. Oh yeah, yeah. We were crazy rocking that fun, shit, man. crazy. Dang, you win yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I win those, bro. Hey man, at, the time, hey, at the time, the height we was at, it wasn't short. It was even. It, oh, yeah, yeah, it was all even. Like, right yeah. now, we short kings, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> back then we was all on even playing field. I think even that's now, a whole lot of French. <laughs> <laughs> I think Come even on. now, like I, I've transitioned to the the front side of the pitch to be a little bit more involved. Yeah. Um, I think my decision making as far as like when to run up to the ball and when to jump for the ball mm. is a lot better now to uh make up for the difference in my in my size next yeah. to some taller people. 
shit. It's all that FIFA, bro. You oh, like, yeah. you literally get your tactic ups in there, like, and Facts. everything, bro. Oh, yeah. It's like me with Forza, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I play this game, and I'm telling you right now, I know I could drive. Like, bro. You know you can given. swank shit. Yeah, bro. Shit. Like, bro, you know, you, like, every time I'm on that game, I literally get texted, oh, good shit, bro, or like, bars, bro, or like, something like <laughs> yeah, that, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, bro, if I get a whip in person, bro, you're going to see me just, wow, 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 wow. Going oh, yeah. crazy. That shit is dope. Yeah, man. Pep, Chavi, <coughs> all these play or all these uh, tactical minds, bro. It's just yeah. like, it opened up a, a whole different side of the understanding of the game. It's uh, my my physical uh, aspect in life isn't the the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I mean, Thanks. Um, I gotta we make got the knowledge, <laughs> but we don't got the condition. Man, I mean, like y'all saw what happened when we was trying to play last week. Oh, yeah, man. Was it last week? Yeah, yeah last, last week. week. Yeah, I didn't have my inhaler to be fair, so. That's true, but you can't run around with your inhaler on the pitch. <laughs> so, but yeah, like it really does suck because we like we was talking about it uh, when we was out there last week. Like we used to do that shit for like hours, bro, mm-hmm. and it was like no breaks. We was just constant, constant. kicking the ball, going back and forth, Five, and all that shit. Hours, all it all it, all it takes is a routine, though, bro. We just gotta get back into it, get back into conditioning, man. Like Facts. we we be saying we don't got time, bro, but. There's always time, bro. We do. I we mean, just... that's the thing. Like, it's not a matter of like we don't have the time. It's a matter of choosing the, the twenty four yeah. that the twenty four hours that we do have in the day. Being able to choose what's mostly uh, gonna be required from us. You know, like you know, like okay, so I'm working nine hours. Well, you know, forty five minutes unpaid because of lunch, but yeah. working nine hours out of my day. So now I got to plan around the rest. So I got eight hours of sleep, this and that. And mm-hmm. Like, okay, uh, do I prioritize working out or do I prioritize getting some a uh, uh, quick little breakfast type deal? Yeah. Or or do I wake up a little bit earlier, sacrifice an hour? This, uh, you know, it's just like it. Sacrifice is the bigger thing here. Yeah. Like what you're willing to sacrifice uh, for your routine is going to be the bigger aspect there. Yeah, bro. Like millionaires don't sleep eight hours, bro. Come on, now. Fact. I mean, we talked about this like a fat minute until ago. until you're like, a millionaire, at least. Yeah, we talked about this shit a fat minute ago, bro. But like, we were talking about how there's not enough hours in the day, bro. Yeah, facts. Like, there's so many things. Like, look, for someone who doesn't do a lot, there's so much I want to do. Yeah. There's just like I said, like, uh, like for me, y'all know my schedule is fucked. Like, I work graveyard shifts, and it's like I I could rarely work around it. Granted, you know, I could fix it, and like, but that's just a lack of motivation on my behalf. But other than that, still, like, I feel like there's never enough hours in the day. Yeah. No, I mean, it it's more of a, a case of we're we're putting a time limit on ourselves, like, because based on other people's success. Truth is, bro, like, we can be forty, fifty, and we still might not even figure out our shit. Sixty, we can figure out our shit, and then life's a good, like, you know, it, it's more so. <clears throat> how how you're enjoying each year that passes by? Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, you could be gone tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, you can be gone even like in the next hour. For mm-hmm. all you know, we could get in a car crash when so, we leave here. It's just like a matter of being able to enjoy what you're doing, how you're going about it. Um, if you have any regrets, I mean, fix it on the spot if you can. Um, yeah, don't don't just like oh damn, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this like. Oh, if yeah. you live that way, you're always going to be thinking about something that you yeah. did wrong. Facts. So, I mean, it's just like, take some initiative. You you got to make some sacrifice. Uh, it, whether it's going to be an initial sacrifice for yourself, sacrificing some time that you dedicate to specific people, um, whatever it is. I mean, it's just, you, you just got to surround yourself with people that understand your situation at the end of the day, I mean, like, if you have a partner, if you have friends, if you have parents, and they're not understanding of your schedule, it's just, you know, that's on them. Like, yeah. Like, you have your schedule, I have my schedule. I'll let you know if I can make plans with you. If not, I mean, it is what it is, you know, I'll catch you next time type deal. Yeah. If you're not okay with that, I mean, I don't really need you in my life. Like, it's just that simple, you know, it's just a matter of... All right, get the fuck out then. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of, like, you know, like... Being able to to have the support next to you that you need, uh, sometimes it's not even like, oh damn, like let me like you know let me have you right next to my side type deal. It's uh, mm-hmm. oh no, bro, like you're good. Don't worry about it. Like do you? We'll, like we'll just hang out next time. Like that alone, sometimes, bro, just be like, it's just like now nah, a little less weight off my yeah. shoulders type deal. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's at the age of twenty three, with the summer. <laughs> Like, it's just like, 
I feel like I'm a lot more mature than a couple other people I know older than me. And it's, oh, for uh, sure. Like, for sure. There's so many people who just don't mature, bro. Like, there's no crazy. common sense, no, like, like, it's like no common motivation, sense, no motivation. Uh, a, a thirst for fucking drama, a thirst for, oh, like, nah. oh, like, dude, like, don't even get like, started with that. Like, like, that like, well, like, what's the point of that? You know, like, it like, gets you nothing in life, bro. Like, it literally costs zero dollars to not be hating on a person. That shit's crazy. But it costs you your energy to be hating it on a person. It costs you your energy, your motivation, like what you could have spent on fucking bettering yourself. You're fucking worrying about me. That's some weird it's shit. Like, that's weird, man. Literally, you have your whole, like your own whole life to do stuff, and you want to worry about what I'm doing in you mine. Worry about the man. next man's pockets. Literally, it's worry about your own up. pockets, bro. That's why you' gonna be broke, and we' gonna be up, and you still gonna be hating. And right. guess what? You still gonna be in the same place that you was. 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 3 years ago, however many. The worst part is, bro, sometimes it's the people that got it together that be hating. And That's it's just weirder. Like, it's like, bro. Yeah, like, that is weirder. Like, you got it made already, bro. Like, like why, why are you hating you... on somebody that's trying to make exactly. it? Exactly. Like, I never understood that shit, bro. It's like, weird, man. I, I, people I ain't got no integrity anymore, bro. No, hell no. Oh, no it's no. giving bozo now. <laughs> it's giving. Like, a lot. You think about it, bro, like in high school, bro, so much drama, like all fights, that shit. Like is, damn near every day, bro. bro. Fights. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, bro. bro. Man, Can I wipe my eye boogers man. off first? I'm not going to lie, bro. Back then, bro, people would talk mad stuff out their neck in the morning. I'm saying, and it's bro. it's just like, for what, bro? Like, now you got me in the shit mood for the rest of my day. It's just deal. so weird. Like, people would make so many problems for no reason. Like, half the time, bro, it was literally the most petty bullshit in the world. I had, mo- I had motherfuckers trying to fight me just because I dated a girl. <laughs> Well, I mean, how you? Like, nah, 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 nah. Hell, like, you nah, what, you, what you mean? I mean, hell, nah. That's not right in any situation. Don't worry about your ex bitch. It's your ex bitch for a reason. That's what I'm saying. Like, I literally, and that's the thing. Like, we had broke up, and then he got with her, and he's and he wanted to fight me. Yeah, so it, 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 yeah. No, at this point, no, yeah, he, that's weird. At this point, he was the ex. And the new dude was worried about her ex. Yeah. So okay. that's why he, that's the, weird. The, new, the, the new dude was beefing with him because he was he, the old dude. Yeah. She was weird. Like, like I never you came after me, bro. Like, have that's some what I'm respect saying. for me, motherfucker. Like in my case, you know, like I accidentally stole someone's girlfriend without knowing they had a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, hey, sometimes they don't tell you, bro. No, I mean, all right, so story time. Freshman year. I had a uh, uh, weight training first period. So I, I would go from Coach Mo. Yeah, Coach Mo. Shout out Coach I'd, Mo. <laughs> I would go from Damn, y'all dropping a lot of names. I'd go from the main <laughs> campus. I won't say any names in regards to the yeah, female. Yeah, don't, don't, do, don't but, do that. But I only shout out Coach yeah, Mo. Cause... Coach Mo is the goat, man. He's but cool. <laughs> you know, I'd go from main campus and I have to go up to North Campus through the parking lot to yeah, get to the man. to the weight training. Um, first day there, so I'm a little late for me. So I see uh, a a girl with in, in the minivan or whatever it was uh, with her mom, and she gets out the car mm-hmm. in the parking lot as I'm walking past her. We, you know, change a little eyes, you know, this and that. Yeah. That that became that little spot, you know, feel me? We would go there, like, you know, twice a week, three times, that, that type deal, you know? Mm-hmm. I didn't know at the time that she had a man's. I, for me, it was just a, a girl that went to my school. She was yeah. looking. I was looking. Bro, that school is so big, too, it's mad bro. Big. It's so many heads that go there. Facts. Like sometimes, like bro, I wouldn't doubt that you didn't know, bro. Like, and think about shit. it, bro. Like there was two campuses, literally saying. across. The like, street from granted, each other. we didn't really use the north one, but still, like it was there. <laughs> that's a fact. Like that's how big the school was. That nah, bro, but it had two campuses. The worst part is, bro, the dude was my homie. <laughs> oh, well, no, nah, okay. So he wasn't my homie that year. Oh, so, okay, we okay, weren't, okay. We weren't close that year. I was about to say. But, Prior to <laughs> prior to we had been homies, you know. Uh-huh. I mean, mind you, like what two thousand students in He's that a school? He's a homie hopper. <laughs> <laughs> two thousand yeah, two thousand people in the school, man. Like I'm not gonna keep up with everybody. Feel yeah, me? yeah. So if it wasn't my main clique, you know, it ain't part of my business. Yeah. All I knew, Shotty was looking. I was looking. Let's make it happen. And then you know she was cheerleader. I was like, damn, that's cheerleader. Whoa. You know, with a chill yeah. and then he was a football player. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so they had a little thing. I didn't know about it. I didn't go to the football games. I forgot about dude. I didn't even know he went to school. <laughs> and um Yeah, and it just kinda led to this and that. End of the story, I mean, she chose to talk to me. Dude got mad at me for like a day. And I told him I was like, straight up, bro, I didn't even know. And he's just mm-hmm. like, Don't even worry about it, but like that's on her. And I was like, You right. 
<laughs> and then I cheated on her. You know. <laughs> hey, that's how it should be, bro. Men should support other men, bro. If your bitch shows up, how you gonna be mad at the dude, bro? Just leave her. Exactly. exactly. Yo, my, my to the next. Yo, your loyalty ain't with me. It's with her, bro. No kidding. Facts. End of the day, bro. All I know is uh, she's out the picture, and me and him still homies. So, facts. End of the that's day, how bro. it should be. End of the day, bro. Bro, Just move on. bros is real. Females be hopping whenever they want, bro. Simple. Exactly. That's simple. That saying ain't never been more true. Bros no before hoes. No Literally. Way. And, and, and if you a hoes before bros, you a weirdo. You a simp. You a, we don't fuck with you. Stay away from yeah, us. Get away from me, Will Smith. Facts. Facts. Don't, don't slap me. me, man. <laughs> little boy to me. <laughs> you little boy to me. Kiss you on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that's crazy, uh, bro. Yet, people bro. be the people do be crazy, bro. They be trying to press you for nothing. Like they be they be so mad at an issue that doesn't even exist. It just exists in their head. Facts. Yeah. Hold on. Speaking about exes now, let me, let me get some <laughs> shit off my chest, all right? That's a lot of stories. <laughs> all right, all right nah, I've, had a, <laughs> I've had a lot of exes, technically. Yeah, but yeah, I've had about, like, four actual relationships. Yeah, I get you. Tell me why, bro. I have a, a female I had been chasing for a while in high school still, you know. And then uh, it, it finally came to fruition. Actually, this funny story, actually. So the, the girl I cheated on that cheated on her boyfriend trying to get with me, mm-hmm. the, the cheerleader, um, she got mad because I was supposedly talking to the, uh, the female I had been trying to chase since middle school. Yeah. And um, it it just kind of came to fruition, like, all like so naturally. Like, it just, like, oh, like, she accused me of talking to you. Do you mind, like, being my fake girlfriend, like, making her jealous? Just, like, just to see her blow, like, <laughs> over-the-top type deal. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, sure. Like, I don't really care. And, you know, we start hanging out more, this and that. And I was like, shit, damn. Like, I'm getting it. Like, this, this, this is the closest I've been, like, in my, like, like two, three-year chase. Like, like you, you telling me you don't feel nothing right now? And I was just like, she's like, oh, no, I mean, you, you're cool. Like, yeah, I didn't expect you to, like, do that. <laughs> so I was like, so what's up? Like, <laughs> like I'm I'm still down if you're down type deal. <laughs> and it came to fruition, this and that. The relationship went to shit because you know I'm immature at the time. Uh, I was pretty boy. I I felt like I was the shit. Um, As you should. I, you know, you just had a bigger ego back then, bro. <laughs> Come on. For sure. I mean, I I know now that you humbled yourself I, with the new body that you exactly. have. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know now that. Uh, the the physique isn't always forever so it, it's nice. more about the mentality and like yeah, the, yeah. the emotion so the physique took a, a huge drop <laughs> <now>. but <laughs> hey a huge drop or gain yeah, yeah. <laughs> a huge drop or gain yeah. bro. i mean the, the belly drops <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but um point of the story was um you know me and her were on and up the me and the girl that were chasing uh, i was chasing yeah. that started out fake fake girlfriend ended up real girlfriend blah blah we were on and off for a cool couple months and um, it, it kind of went both ways, but it originally started with uh, one of her guy best friends or, you know, friend group type yeah. of shit. Um, I guess he was telling her that I was cheating on, like, actively cheating on her. I was like, no, I mean, we took a break and, like, you know, I, I took it as a breakup because what's the point of a break? Um, and so I started talking to another female. Didn't do anything, just started talking to another female. And he said I was doing this and that with her, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And now... She was like, no, don't talk to me, blah, blah, blah. So then he was in the way. He was like, bro, just back up, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, who the fuck are you? Like, get the fuck out of my way. Like, you know, this doesn't, like, revolve around you. Like, step the fuck out. And yeah. then, um, hey, bro, I could see the old Lou doing that, too, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I imagine him back then, bro. Old I Lou feel was, like his cockiness back then old would, Lou like, really. Rough. Bro, that's bro. what I'm saying. Like, I I could just, like, tell. Like, he was scrappy. Like, just, <laughs> bro, I. I would get down no matter what, bro. Like <laughs> I used to fight on trails, like like right <laughs> after school, but like no, no fuck with me type shit. And uh, he he would go to soccer games, this and that. So I was just like, all right, man, like I'll catch you after your game type shit. Damn. And then he's just like, like you really got so much to say. Like let's find out. And then like kick, remind you. So he, he starts <laughs> kicking me, and I'm just like, what's up, bro? Like was it like were you playing that today? Like that type shit. And I pull up to him. And, like, as soon as he seen me, bro, he went off the other side of the pitch. I was like, that's what I thought. <laughs> bro. That's what I thought. I have a story like that, that's too, crazy. bro. All right. One time. All right. So, I used to be in a band. You feel me? You already know. Oh, yeah. The yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I used to be in Damn, that and I shit. I forgot about that And shit. then. I used to be in band. Man. <laughs> oh, middle yeah, school. Trombone and shit. Play the trombone, boy. <laughs> but, yeah, I used to be in a little, like, Mexican band. You feel me? It was a bunch of kids band. Like, it was a kids band because it was just a bunch of kids. Like, there was no adults in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Så um... <laughs> All right, come on, come on, chill, 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 chill. All right, so yeah, I was in the kids band and shit, and I used to play my little instrument or whatever. But there was this one female that like, all right, so we would all stand with our own group. Like, it would be the clarinets in the section, yeah, 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 the trumpets yeah. in the section. Like, you know, it would be like that. So I would be with the clarinets. And there was this one female that I, like, you feel me? She was, she was cute to me, like, type shit back then. Mm. And, like, I had a little crush on her, but, like, you feel me? I would never make a move. Like, I was she a scary little boy. She played clarinet with you? Yeah, or? she played. Uh-huh. Yeah, she played clarinet with me. But you feel me? I was scary back then. But, like, once we started getting older, you feel me? Like, I knew her since, like, elementary type shit, too, because that's when yeah. I started that shit. But you feel me? Like, we grew up together. We start like, in middle school, I was still in the band type shit. Like, uh-huh. middle school was probably when I dropped all that shit. But... You feel me? I remember going into seventh, or in, oh, I was in seventh, or no, I was in eighth grade actually when this shit happened. Um, I was still in the band, I'm pretty sure, and um, dude was trying to fight me, bro. Dude, like, all right, this guy, this guy's in the band too. I was about to but, say, but he, like, he, he always had a crush on the the, the clarinet the girl? girl. Yeah, he always yeah. had a crush on the clarinet girl type shit. So, um. But she would never fuck with him. So, like, you know, it's the same type of situation. Like, oh, she don't fuck with you and you mad at me because she don't fuck with you, but yeah. she fuck with me type shit. Like, she would Weird be texting me. I would be swiping up on her story. She would yeah. be replying, you know, giving me back the same energy. But um, I told him one day, I was like, bro, just stop trying, my boy. Like, real shit. Like, like yeah. bro, like not even on some, like, like fuck boy Bullying shit. Like, shit. yeah, like, bro. I was like, dead ass, bro. Like, if you really see that she's not fucking with you, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, as a man, bro, like, just don't. Like, Facts. just stop. Like, bro, don't chase. Like, a bitch is not going to fuck with you if you chase. Real shit. But, um, so yeah, he was chasing her and shit. And I told him that and he got hella butt hurt. And so he told me that he was going to like tell her, like he was going to snitch me out to her on some the weird fuck? shit. And bro, but he wanted to, like, he was trying to tell me that he was going to beat my ass and this, this, and that. So I told him, he told me, he was like, oh, I have a tocada on this day. I'll, and then, oh no, I wasn't in the band no more. Cause he, th- I remember now I wasn't in the band anymore, but I was still text her. And like, you feel me that would still be texting me and shit. And I would tell him, I'd be like, bro, just lay off, bro. She don't fuck with you. Mm-hmm. And so, um, uh, so he told me, he was like, oh, I got a tocada at the church this day at the church out there, bro. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, pull up right there. I was like, it's good. I'll pull up, bro. I don't like, I ain't tripping. I like. Like Lou said, Brian never ran for no fucking fight, bro. Yeah. Like, if you trying to run the ones, we can run the ones. But tell me why he sends me a screenshot, bro, of a of a fucking like a uh, a uh, Instagram chat that says, <clears throat> uh, what does it say? It says, oh, you still want me to pull up with the hammers or some shit like that? And it like had a, like a like an emoji of a hammer, bro. And it was one of his boys. Like it was a screenshot, mm-hmm. and he sends it to me, bro, like a dumbass. And I told him, I was like, what you mean you finna pull up with hammers and you finna pull up with your boys? I told him, I was like, if you want to do that, we could do that, bro. I told him, I was like, straight up, I'll pull up with hella poles, bro. I'll pull up with all my boys. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I told him straight up. And tell me why this boy gets hella scared. He starts telling me, he's like, nah, bro, I was just playing. Like, I wouldn't do that to one of my n****s. He was like, I wouldn't do that shit, bro. He was like, he was like, it's good, bro. Just pull up to eat with me and my boys. Like, my boys drive. He's like, I'll pay oh, for your food, scared. bro. I was like, nah, bro, you weird. And I blocked him, bro. bro. That's I blocked him after that. That boy, weirdo. That's what I'm saying. But how you finna talk all that shit and then like you feel me? You sent me a whole screenshot of the conversation <laughs> you was having with your boy on some stupid shit. And you didn't think I was gonna come back with the same energy? Nah, nah. you crazy. You don't know me, weirdo. Man, bro. that's weird, bro. But you, Ed. <laughs> you also. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only one I like as far as somebody threatening me was just the one of uh, my ex. My ex is dude. How many fights have you been in? One and Connor pulled me out of it. <laughs> oh, the Brian? <laughs> yeah, I started fighting with Brian, and then Connor pulled me away from it. And, oh, for real? Yeah, that was it. All I that's did crazy. was all I did was dip him, and that's it. That's crazy. Damn. I was boys locker yeah, you used to watch. No, no it, was you, you it was outside. Oh, okay, it was outside. Okay. It was outside on the blacktop. Yeah, that boy's locker room was crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know if you remember, but like I, I used to have my axe at the time. Yeah. I didn't wear it. I didn't wear it. I never wore an axe. You talking like, about the flamethrower thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> this be crazy. I remember that. That shit was crazy, bro. You just see it at the back of the fucking yeah. locker room. You just see it. <laughs> that shit was over crazy. Over the top of the last row Man. of lockers, bro. And that shit was smell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too, bro. You're burning all that fragrance and stuff. That shit is crazy. That was crazy. That was mad crazy, bro. <laughs> that shit is wild. It was bro, a- real stuff, though. Like, high school is real life, like, living in a movie, bro. Like, it, it like... 
you, at first when you're like actually in high school, you're like, nah, like it's not like a movie. Like you see it on the movies and be like, nah, that that's just fake. Yeah. But all that shit is real, bro. All the drama that you see on like TV and shit, all the fights, all the the girls, all the, like, bro, all that shit is real, bro. Facts. Like it's crazy though. Like they li- like these are literally called dramas on mm-hmm. TV, bro. Facts. And we're literally living it. Like, bro, it's crazy. Like, what the fuck? Bro, like you said, it's 8 in the morning. You're eating fucking Cheetos and drinking bro, coffee, bro. bro fuck is, hey, the, the bag of Cheetos, right before that fucking first bell rings, mm. elite, bro. <laughs> elite. And I know you have walking, stomach problems now. Fact. And motherfuckers were walking with, <laughs> with the Arizona, the too. Arizona. Oh, yeah. At that time, it was the one with the actually had the screw top, though. Not the, the just the... the they still got those. Top? No, yeah, but they still got those, I, I mean, at the, like, prior to... Uh, the Angelos there would only carry the, the the bottles the, or the cans. The cans at, at and they first. had a screw top. Screw top but, cans. No, 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 no. So, at the the first couple years of high school, mm-hmm. uh, watch. Well, I don't know. I, I remember when my brother was in high school. The the Angelos and the corner store only had yeah. the the cans. Um, the tall ones. The, the tall boys. The taller ones. Yeah, the ninety nine cents. Yeah, 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 the originals. And then, yeah. Once we got to high school, that's when I started seeing the bottles. Oh. And then, so, like, at that time, and, uh, when, like, you know, you see the females walking around with the bag of Cheetos yeah. and the Arizona, and then the dudes walking around with the Gatorade, it was like, that was the, that was the you know, watermelon, mango, watermelon. Uh, Arizona. Green with tea. The, fruit punch. The fruit punch one, too. That was I purple. Tried that one. You never had that one? That's uh-huh. a purple joint. Uh uh-uh, uh, I didn't. I never tried that one. Oh, holy schmack! Yeah, that's schmack. I bet. But, um, I don't know which yeah. one's the best one, Arizona, bro. I haven't had a mango Arizona in a mango minute, one goes bro. crazy. Mango one goes stupid. They're too big though. I'm yeah, not gonna lie, it's too it's much. Too... That's why I like the bottles better. The bottles are a little bit smaller, yeah. But they don't have the same taste though. They don't. Low key, they more cold on a can. Yeah, yeah sure. exactly. That's what I'm saying. The, the plastic's a little bit thicker. Though. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't really cool it like that unless you throw that bitch in the freezer. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I used to. Like, like a the, half frozen one. Yeah, I used to yeah, buy yeah. like the Arizona green teas, the bottles, and throw it in the freezer and make the bitch a slushy. Yeah, bro, yeah. hella smack. That shit was Dude, how y'all feel about the Lipton green teas? Y'all remember those? Oh my god, the Lipton, what? bro, those, bro, the Lipton green teas. The the, 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 oh, the Sunny looking about, bottles, the, the Sunny looking bottles with yeah, with the green cap. I never had the green tea, but I had the lemon tea or the I, lemon iced tea. I, I think I've heard of that the one. Green oh, tea, the lemon ice, or the peach ice tea. The too. peach ice tea. Peach ice tea is crazy. Too. I think the peach one is the last one I just had. I don't like the peach one. The peach one kind of dries my tongue a little bit. Like it dries my mouth. A bit. Low mm-hmm. key, it dries your mouth, but it's still good. Yeah, for like the it first is. Five the flavor is good. Yeah, the flavor is good for sure. Yeah, y'all fuck with, with um, like two bottles of water with a uh, al- <laughs> aloe, aloe vera. Hell yeah, aloe, bro! Oh the tall one. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. What brand? Oh, I don't know. I don't know the brand you like. I like the one with a little bird on it. Bird? Yeah, it's a little bird? bird on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the brands. I could look them up. I like El Faraon, El Faraon or whatever it is. What's it called? Oh yeah, yeah. I know which one that was. I don't know which one that is with the mummy on it or not yeah, the mummy. The the the, 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 the uh, so, so what is it? The Egyptian, the Egyptian, <laughs> ma- the Egyptian yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. I'm trying. To, I feel like I would get them at the gas station, but I don't know what brand but it the, was. Uh, the reason I, I said the bird confused was uh, the. Um, the agua de coco, el, el mexicano. Oh yeah. yeah, that's the brand I like for agua de coco. But I, I don't remember seeing a, a bird one for aloe vera. Give me a second, bro. I'll pull it up. <coughs> it I feel like no, it's uh, the faraon one. I don't think it's this one. No, no it's yeah, the faraon. faraon goes crazy for aloe vera for sure. There's a couple other ones that kind of go crazy, but faraon is always my go-to. Yeah, I don't really remember the brand if I'm being honest. Oh, I think it's this was one of them. I think. I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I that's one of the boogie one. ones, though. Yeah, that's really? Like, that's yeah. a little I bit. I can't remember. That's like more of like, oh, shit, they don't have it for our Let me just get yeah, this one. Yeah, type shit, type shit. Yep. And there's this one, I think. Yeah, I, that one I didn't really like. The, the... Uh, I've never tried that one. Yeah, I don't really know. I can't remember. Like, I just know it was that type of drink, but I don't never pay attention to the brand oh, yeah, type it shit. It makes a difference, but like the. I'm where, looking it up and it's not showing me all the options <laughs> where, that I'm looking where, for. Where it has like the the, mm-hmm. the life pulp in it, bro. Like, yeah, the life yeah. pulp in it. Like that, that no, yeah, crazy. I love that. That the chewy, the, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's just went crazy. That's like, bro, like, it's like boba. It's like Mexican yeah. boba. Yeah, nah, bro, but... you know what drinks I remember in middle school, bro? The Switch? The Switch. The you ever had strawberry, a Switch? Uh, <laughs> there was like these little cans, like Red Bull type cans, mm-hmm. and they was called Switch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Strawberry I remember. Strawberry kiwi went crazy. I remember. Strawberry kiwi. They would sell them at school, right? Huh? They would sell them at school? Yeah, they would sell them for a dollar. I with wouldn't the buy ba- them though. With the baked hot Cheetos? Baked hot Cheetos, bro. Them hoes the was way too fizzy for me, bro. 
I that shit's a smack. And bitches was like, I blame middle school for my eating habits now. At <laughs> lunch and at work, I I munch on the bag of chips, like potato, like regular potato baked chips, yeah. whatever it is, um, and then just water, just to kind of fill in the gap. The switch and the baked hot Cheetos are my original lunch in middle school, bro. Ever since then, high school. A bag of chips and <laughs> some fucking those <laughs> switch. Drink, and bro. then in high school they had those see through cans. The yeah. those drinks those drinks are good as fuck. The green apple and the cherry. Uh, what, what were those? I don't know what they were called, but man, those were good as fuck. What were those? Damn. I don't I forgot <sighs> about those until you said that right now. Yeah, like the green apple and the cherry ones were always the best ones. Those ones I don't. Crazy. I don't know what brand it was. See through. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I blame uh, the school system for the like manner of my eating too. Cause I, since elementary, bro, I would never eat anything in the mornings. I would never buy lunch mm-hmm. either, and I would just wait till I got home to eat something. And that's what I do now, bro. I still don't eat anything in the mornings. I, the I way- eat one meal a day. I think the worst part about the school system lunch or system or whatever. I don't know how it is now, but yeah, so many students back then. They gave us 30 minutes to fucking, or whatever it was, you know, 30, 45 minutes um, to eat. Half the fucking time we were standing in the line just to get the food. Man. Like, bro, like, that's our, our time off of the fucking <coughs> Facts. Shit, like, school, like, getting up and out of the seats type shit. Feel me? Like, yeah. God damn, bro. Like, just give us a fucking play as we walk out the fucking last class, man. It's like. Oh, yeah, that would be cracking. I think, uh, to me, I remember, I don't know about y'all. But elementary school had the best lunch. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, for sure. They had the best lunch. Dude, they had spicy chicken nuggets when I went, bro. Those went crazy as I remember fuck. they sold these, chi- like, they weren't spicy, but they were regular chicken nuggets. And then they had, like, a little dipping sauce. That dipping sauce, to this day, I'm trying to find it. That dipping sauce was so good. It was, like, I don't know if it was sweet and sour or if it was barbecue, but it had such a good-ass taste, bro. I think it might have been sweet and sour. The only but. thing I remember were the the cheese sticks, the pizza, the pizzas went the crazy. Orange uh, packet pepper. one, yeah. Yeah, 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 that one was crazy. Uh, the oh yeah, parrot. Damn, I do know that brand. Exactly. Oh no, I never yeah, had that. That one. brand is good for the aloe vera. You're right. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> like my second go-to for sure. Nah, that's my first one because I don't I, I don't find the the faraon the faraon out here. This is all I find. Uh, um, the the smiley fries, so, smiley fries went crazy. Fries Dude, went the crazy. smiley chicken nuggets went crazy. Y'all remember, remember the I smiley remember faces? Any chicken nuggets, bro. And you know what? I also <gasps> love cheese zombies, bro. What the fuck? What the Y'all don't fuck with the cheese zombies oh, with I the tapatio? Y'all didn't have cheese zombies in no. What? what cheese like zombies? cheese zombies? Cheese zombies. What the? I never. Had you don't know what shit. a cheese zombie is? No. A cheese zombie. It's literally just bread. Like it's literally a circle bread with cheese inside of it. What the fuck? What the? <laughs> it's like yellow cheese, but bro, they were so good, bro. Like if you it's like, I don't know, shit, man. One of the best uh, things they used to do is in the holidays give the holiday cookies. Oh, bro, yeah, with the yeah, holiday yeah, cookies with the like with the crystal sugar, the, yeah, like the, the crystal sugar. Crystal. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Dude, the those were crazy. Oh, I don't... <gasps> the ices, the little the, the little pyramid cones. Ices. Yes, the pyramid ices. Those were crazy. Those are crazy good, man. Oh man, you remember? Because this might be. I don't know your time. If it what type of milk did they serve when you were in like? I already know what you about. I already know what you about. What you mean, like flavors? Yeah, yeah. They serve chocolate milk, strawberry milk, and regular milk. Strawberry milk. Dude, crazy. no, yeah, that's strawberry. And when they replaced hey, it, bro. No, nah, they stopped serving that. They stopped serving that for me when I was in like when I got out of elementary, I think that's yeah, when they stopped serving. Yeah, it. when they start they start catfishing you. They give you a pink one, but it's not strawberry no, milk it's anymore. Pink, it's like, like zero it, percent it's just, or whatever. Yeah. I know bro, what you're talking when about. When I drank that shit, I thought it was strawberry milk. And I, I drank that shit, I was like, what the fuck this is, is this? Water, I looked bro. inside, that shit's white. Oh uh, man. Yeah, you know what's crazy, Pause. bro? It's crazy that they replaced the, the strawberry one before they replaced the chocolate one. Right. Like, no cap. I would think that we chocolate were... one wasn't even good either. Bro. Uh, it, okay. it, was it, was, it was okay. It was mid. It was better than the regular milk. I, of course. Nah, I can't yeah, say but... that. What? I don't know. You remember, but the middle or elementary school, uh, the the corner of the table, like lunch designated shit. Mm. Do you ever remember seeing me with like probably like 16 cartons of milk? Damn. What no? the fuck? No. no? So I, I don't you remember. Thick what, bone. I, <laughs> and maybe it was George. I don't remember, honestly. But point is, it was a. Uh, couple of us on, on the like way way edge of the fucking uh bench yeah. situation i just be like oh you gonna drink that milk oh you gonna drink that milk <laughs> and i just start piling it up i didn't drink any until the very end once i got a pile of fucking milk cartons that's I just, like two cups of milk 
It was probably a whole gallon, bro. I'm not gonna cap. A low key, a whole gallon. If you're getting 16 of them shits, dude, that drinking is a whole, whole gallon, gallon of milk at school is crazy. No, bro, crazy. no wonder you can't fucking handle dairy. <laughs> you overloaded the your crazy system. part about it, bro. Is you I, still I would literally overdo. crank it open, open one by one, like I'm fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'm <laughs> chugging that shit one by one. I'll be give me a hell yeah at the end of lunch, bro. <laughs> bro you don't remember popping them? Did y'all ever pop the milk cartons? No. Like oh. fold them over and then just stomp on them and they would just yeah, bang hella loud. I had a lot of people do that around me in in elementary. Yeah, me too. Shit, type shit. But I never did it myself. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm yeah. saying. But I was just saying if y'all remember that. After they took out the strawberry milk, I never fucked with the milk anymore. <gasps> the apple juice that they would have, bro, and the orange juice in the small ass cartons. I know that they would have like little juice boxes, like the they have green apple. They'd have. Uh, You're talking like. High school lunch, though, right? I'm talking. High, I'm talking brunch, high school yeah. and brunch. No, nah, he's I talking. Would, you're talking like the the ones like they kind of give in the hospital type shit, right? Like kind of in like a, like a milk carton. It yeah. would just be like a like a bold red color. Oh no! And it would say that. like apple juice yeah. in black letters. I, we never got that at our school, but I, I definitely uh, saw some. Um, where did I see them? I think that was middle school though. When I would get those, I would get like little small school, like. They, oh no! Wait, it was high school. I remember because. We would go into the lunchroom like after school, and they would have like a bunch of them. Like it was like a food checkout because yeah, yeah. you could get like um, food yeah, we, after school and we stuff. Never got the lettuce. We just got the regular uh, like juice uh, box, juice pouches that you get. But we'd get that at brunch. Pouches, yeah, yeah. like you know, kind of like the high C pouches. It's, I think it's, it's juice, oh, box, juice, oh, boxes. juice boxes. Juice boxes. Yeah. There's juice boxes. Yeah, but those I would always ask like uh, Lorenzo or Jonathan, Jonathan be like, hey, County. Jonathan would always be like, hey, who wanted, who wanted, yeah. and we'd all be like fighting for that yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, man. Bro, when uh, they would, he would uh, just toss it up. Yeah, <laughs> he would. When they would give us those uh, apple juices and the orange juices, sometimes they would come frozen, bro, like inside oh, the package. Yeah. And it was, bro, it was so good, bro. Oh man, damn, I miss school now. Fuck, I just miss, for that, bro. I just, miss uh, elementary school, bro. Elementary man, school was lit, cracking, playing tag on the playground and shit. Fuck that, play soccer on yeah, the walls. The walls yeah. Oh, on the wall, dude. Yeah, there'd be just two like big. Blue blocks yeah. and those would be the posts, dude. If I would have went to like, if I would have been in school at the same time as you guys, I should have been so cracking, bro. I should have been so lit, oh bro. My God, I would have dropped out because <laughs> I would have been fucking all your bitches. The fuck, you wouldn't get no bitches, bro. The way you was looking back then, the hey, low looking. key, bro. Oh, true, you yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> low key, bro. I didn't look good to like. We was the clowns after high school. <laughs> I was a clown. I was the wee man's though. Y'all got that? <laughs> good enough. Nah, man. I just that ass, bro. Like at that time, you did not want to fuck with me. And my girl, my girl actually asked me a lot recently. Like, oh, for real? Like, would, like, would you have like dated me? Like, oh, had we met back then? I, I was like, something. I was like, genuinely, I don't think we would have. Not so much because I wouldn't want to, but I don't think you would have liked the way I was back then. Cause yeah, that's like facts. you look at me. I mean, you guys know. I mean, I'm a shit to both of you guys, but like <laughs> from an external factor, like you just look at the way I am now versus how I was back then, yeah. bro. I don't strut the same. <laughs> back then, I was the bro. Shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If you was in your prime and I was in my prime too, though, who Lou? Or you yeah, and Lou? Yeah, me. Like if we're both in our prime, like I feel like I'm in my prime right now. There would be no bitches for Pitt to go around, bro. I was about to say that. Yeah, if me and you was both at our prime at the same time, bro. Oh my god, bro. We're literally father and son, bro. That's why it's crazy. This Cause like, seed, bro. like literally, if it was back then, bro, that shit's crazy. And we would have been like on the same type of timing, bro. Oh my, it would have been over. Literally, no, no, no pit bitches left. I'm happy now. Man, I'm glad. I'm glad I left that behind. Happily engaged. Happily engaged. (laughs) Happy wife. Happy life. (laughs) Nah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, for for the the life we were kind of creating for ourselves back then, it was fun as hell, bro. Just being able to say, like, oh damn, like I dated so and so, I dated so and so, this and that. Like, oh, you were with her. Damn, I was with him first, bro. Like, I was kind of sick, but I didn't do nothing with nobody, bro. Yeah, I was a good boy. (laughs) That's just all in GTA. (laughs) <laughs> That's why yeah. I fucked up I was committed my whole High school life yeah. You don't fucked up When I you mean, were committed Your whole shit I mean Don't get me wrong Like had, had I had a female Who like Actually showed me Like it might have been worth it Nah you would have cheated You had plenty <laughs> of females That showed you it was worth it you uh, st- Oh I was about to say Some hot shit <laughs> <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong, bro. Like at that time, I didn't give a shit, bro. But exactly, most, but mostly because I wanted to the expectation of it's fucking high school, bro. We're not gonna make it out this shit, like you know. That's <laughs> we're not making it out. I mean, like what you know, mean? I mean, as like as a relationship standpoint, <laughs> he lived in he lived in Chirac back then, bro. That's also true, bro. <laughs> I keep it a buck. I was from a young perspective up till probably senior year. I was convinced, bro. I was gonna get shot down on the middle of the street, fucking <laughs> before senior year ended. 
but besides the point, I was meaning more as a relationship <laughs> more than like, Bless you. like you physically like graduating Bless you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. high school. So um I just never expected anything to last as long as I mean, and I was right, bro. I didn't my longest relationship was what, like maybe <laughs> six, seven months. Um, yeah. In so, high I mean, school. I don't I don't overall, I mean overall I'm now I'm sitting out like closing in on four years. So. Yeah. No, like to me, like I don't fully regret being in a relationship, but it it definitely took away some of the experience. Yeah, it took away a lot of the experience yeah. of being in high school. I regret having long hair in high school. Oh Lee. Cause bro. But dude, I mean you the, were still pulling though? I mean a couple, but you feel me it wasn't like now. Like bro, it, all right, look. I I feel like I would change a lot though, cause I feel like I did put myself out too much. Like I was like, like I should like I wish I knew before that you gotta make yourself private for bitches to know or want you. Oh yeah, <laughs> cause like, um, maybe not like with you. I don't know what it was. Like, I don't know what it was. Yeah, like it maybe it was cause like, you was like pretty pretty type shit. Yeah. I 